Hello students. Today we will learn de Broglie wavelength. In quantum mechanics, a moving particle of very small mass moving in a dispersive medium involve generation of collection of sinusoidal waves slightly differing in amplitude, velocities and phase. These collection of sinusoidal waves superimposes to produce de Broglie wave which is a stationary wave. The de Broglie wave is confined within a region in the space. It is the region in which these collection of sinusoidal waves interferes constructively to give the maximum amplitude and outside this region these collection of sinusoidal waves interfere destructively to give zero amplitude. This region in space within which the de Broglie wave is confined is called as wave packet. Hence a particle in classical mechanics is considered as a wave packet in quantum mechanics with a de Broglie wave within it of wavelength lambda. The de Broglie wavelength is expressed as lambda equal to h upon mv where m is the mass of the moving particle and v is the velocity of particle. Here the particle is of very small mass which is a microscopic particle. In terms of kinetic energy of the particle this formula takes the following form lambda equal to h upon under root 2 m k where k is the kinetic energy of the particle. For macroscopic objects of very large mass or comparatively high mass, the de Broglie wavelength gets too short to be detectable. Hence de Broglie wavelength is only detectable for moving microscopic particles like atoms, molecules, neutrons, protons, electrons, alpha particles. Since these particles are all material particles which constitute the matter, hence de Broglie wave are also called as matter waves. Hence every moving microscopic particle of very small mass has a de Broglie wave associated with it in quantum mechanics. The first particle on which the concept of de Broglie wave was applied was photon. It was on the basis of dual nature of light radiation. Let us consider an example. Calculate the de Broglie wavelength of a neutron having kinetic energy of 1 electron volt. Given that mass of neutron is 1.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 27 kg and h equal to 6.62 into 10 ki power minus 34 seconds. In this question we are given a neutron which is of very small mass and possess a kinetic energy. It means the neutron is in motion. Hence a de Broglie wave is associated with the neutron of wavelength lambda. So given in the question kinetic energy of neutron is 1 electron volt. Converting it into joules it becomes 1.6 into 10 ki power minus 19 joules. Mass of neutron equal to 1.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 27 kilogram. We have to find the de Broglie wavelength of neutron. So substituting the value of m and k in the above equation, we get 6.62 into 10 minus 34 as value of h divided by under root 2 into 1.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 27 as mass of neutron into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules as kinetic energy. On calculation, we arrive that the de Broglie wavelength associated with this neutron is 0.286 angstrom.